What's up guys, yeah, Marquez 702 here, beginning a brand new playthrough for my channel, so here it is. Guys, guys, do you know what time it is? Y you guys already know what time it is, it's time to celebrate that Kingdom Hearts celebration. Wait, <laughs> celebrate, <laughs> never mind, I'm not even going to continue that. We got ourselves Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance, which is going to be remade for the 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue that's coming out later in January, so... In celebration for that amazing event, along with Point Two Birth by Sleep, we are going to be playing ourselves the original 3DS title of Dream Drop Distance, and I'm super hype about this. Um, one of the main reasons why I want to do this, out of the several reasons, is because um, you know I wanted to do a Kingdom Hearts game as for not only a showcase but a full playthrough for a long time. And another reason is because, of course, the celebration of the re-release, um, the HD version that's coming out very soon. But um, if you guys could, make sure to smash the like button for me if you all are excited for this playthrough. This is going to be a very long playthrough, guys, as this is going to probably take like a few months, um, to be honest. If I maintain a steady schedule when it comes to uploading this, maybe I'll get it done in like a few months. Uh, months. <laughs> but like, if I get it done, like probably like, you know, like how I do like Fire Emblem or something like that, then it might take a little longer. So just keep in mind that this is going to be a playthrough going on for a very long time, a very long series, but it should be very fun throughout the entire um, the entirety of it. So if you all could, make sure to smash the like button for me if you guys are enjoying. By the way, got to represent for that breast cancer awareness with that pink A. Anyway, let's go ahead and get right into this game, guys. I'm so excited right now. Holy crap.
Oh my god, yo. That opening cinematic, though. That opening cutscene! My boys! That was, oh my god, that was so beautiful. I mean, I had to actually play different music due to the fact that um, Square Enix actually takes down the videos that have the music with the opening, which makes sense, they've done that before, but um, yeah, I basically replaced the music in the original opening cutscene with the, uh, what is it, New Hope, or not New Hope, uh, Ray of Hope mix uh, for 2.8 specifically, so I hope you guys did like that little twist, but here we are on the title screen of Dream Drop Distance, and um, yeah, we got ourselves... My freaking, my, my boy Sora, Riku, and Mickey just looking fine as heck right now. And just, oh my god, yo, the music already takes you though, dude. The music, dude. Oh my god, you guys are going to hear later in this game, or in this playthrough rather, like, just the music is so godlike. Um, but not even just this game, the entire Kingdom Hearts series has amazing freaking music. The entire soundtrack is just godlike. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and start ourselves a brand new game, guys. This game supports CirclePad Pro. Yeah, okay, because I can totally use that. Alright, um... Don't need to use that. You can use data for spirits and trophies. No, we're good. Don't need that. And now they're going to be asking us about the game mode. So we got ourselves Beginner, Standard, Proud Mode, and Critical Mode. So, for the sake of me just going through this like at a pretty steady pace, I'm going to be going at Beginner. <laughs> I know, I know. I should be going at Standard, at least, since I have played a lot of the Kingdom Hearts games, but, you know, it just feels as if for this playthrough, I should just take it easy. First cutscene. Hey! Is this how you wanted it? Xehanort! Wanna fill me in? Hey! Do you remember now, or... Wait. Did you never lose your memory? Oh, snap. So we have this mysterious figure with a freaking cool-looking keyblade. But how far could a raft take us? Who knows? If we have to, we'll think of something else. That was crazy. And then we got my boys Sora and Riku on Destiny Island, so it seems. You know, everything's so mysterious in the beginning of the game. You just are so confused. Bro, what is going on? Wow! So first we have a freaking mysterious deep-voiced man striking down another guy. Then we have Riku and Sora just going on a raft, and then freaking Ursula from Little Mermaid just like... Whatever. Alright, but they're now they're, the game's telling us about mementos, um, you know, just looking back at previous events or tutorials and stuff. So what we're gonna do is uh, go through the combat basics tutorial. Basically learning how to fight, even though I have covered some Kingdom Hearts games already on my channel, so, you know, if you've ever watched those, you would know how combat usually is. So, yeah, here we are, though. We're fighting off against Ursula, dude. I mean, of course, we faced off against Ursula in the past games, when it comes to Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, stuff like that, but still, really random how we're facing off against her now. So we use Serial Pad to move and use the L and R buttons to uh, turn the camera, so interesting stuff. So we can move around with the circle pad. Yo, Sora's looking clean in his uh, original outfit. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and move with the L and R buttons. So just do that real quick. And eventually you'll be coming to a stop. Do they want us to do a, like a full 360? Okay, not, not yet. Press A to attack. Keep pressing A after landing an attack and you will perform a combo. Take out that tentacle. Oh my god, look at that thing. Alright, so we're just freaking... Oh, hello? Wow, that was just 
that was just so not fun, you know? I had to jump, and then I just... Whatever, yo. Anyway, to the lower right of your HP... Wait, hold on. The lower right is your HP gauge. It will deplete as you take damage, run out of HP, and it's game over. Makes sense. Protect yourself by pressing Y to block, and if you press while, mo while moving, you will dodge, and you can also press B to jump. Defend yourself from attack. Got you. I got you, Pam. So now we can actually use Y to block, and otherwise, let's go ahead and show that block off. Then, we can use our dodge roll while moving. Oh, yo, did you see that? That little water orb literally just touched me. Lock onto an, en an enemy, and the camera will stay pointed at the enemy. When you're locked on, you can switch targets by pressing L or R. Lock on to each of the tentacles. Alright, so basically we have to press R and L at the same time. And then we can actually switch the targets from each one by uh, pressing each button and stuff. So that's pretty cool. You can basically switch targets while battling. Locking on is a great way, uh, great way to keep track of foes in the heat of the action. To exit lock on, press L and R at the same time. The command deck allows you to perform more powerful attacks and magic. Select a command from the deck with uh, the control pad. Once the command's gauge is full, you can use it by pressing X. Use deck commands to take out all the tentacles. So since they are far away from us, we're going to have to use our magic spells slash our abilities in order to take these things down. So, good stuff right here. Why am I not making contact with all this stuff? Oh crap, I actually got hit. No! I was hoping to do like a no damage run for this first freaking uh, like boss or whatever. Even though this is all basically tutorial. I was hoping I'd at least make it through without any damage. Alright, we managed to take out all three tentacles. No problem. Yo, why is Ursula so scared? Why, should, why don't you just come up to my face? You never know when you'll find new commands. To install them in the command deck, wait until no enemies are around, then press start to open up the main menu. Not only can you modify your deck, you can also change keyblades, check your stats, adjust game settings, and more. If you ever get stuck, you can access help and tutorials like this one by choosing mementos from the main menu. Combat basic tutorial complete. Hey, let's go. Now we can get into the real action. Let's go, my boys. Alright, back to fighting Ursula. Let's do this. <gasps> Yo! Riku! Let's go, dude. Way to the dawn? Can we use that, that, that way to the dawn? Hey. Or does he still have that, that soul eater sword? Defeat the phantom Ursula. So yes, this is not real. This Ursula, this version of Ursula, is literally just fake due to the fact that we are actually in the Mark of Mastery exam. So basically, this game takes place after the events of Kingdom Hearts 2 and also Recoded. As Sora and Riku have been given a message to come to Jensen's Tower and then um, take the Mark of Mastery exam to become true Keyblade Masters. Basically, the main objective of going through this game. And um, this is basically, I guess, the tutorial stage of the beginning. So pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and freaking open up that mouth for me. Okay, hey, hey, hey. watch it, watch it, watch it, Ursula. Don't get too comfortable. Hello! Alright, we actually do have a potion as well, so that's pretty cool. Alright, Riku. Oh, he's using Soul Eater. What the heck is this, dude? Where's your Keyblade at? Like, what? Alright, she's sending out these little fire orbs. I mean, water orbs. What am I talking about? Alright, get out of my face, dude. Alright, so you can freaking... Let's block all these things. Wow, I didn't even get to block it! Crap, dude, that's not good. All right, let's go ahead and use Blizzard. All right, not bad at all. Let's go ahead and use Quick Blitz while we land on the ground. Almost done, almost done, guys. Let's go ahead and use up Fire. Fire? Okay, Fire! Oh, God. God dang. All right. Oh, God, wait. I'm going to wait until I have a little more left. Do not attack. Do not attack her, Riku, please. Stop attacking her, Riku. I need to finish this off. Alright, you guys ready? You ready, guys? Here we go. Quick Blitz! Finish it off! Woohoo! Dude, that was awesome. So, we got ourselves a little bonus. We got ourselves our maximum HP increased. That was sick. The way we did that Quick Blitz, man, that was <clears throat> powerful. Alright, but there, there we go. That is basically it for the first official battle in this game. Even though, of course, this is just the beginning stages of the Mark of Mastery. And she is gone.
Okay. Not creepy at all. But anyway, got ourselves another flashback. So basically, we're going to be taking back... We're going to be taken back to the um, Mysterious Tower, in which Yen Sid will explain what exactly... Oh. Snap. I didn't even get to choose... Oh, snap! Okay, I'm going to have to... Okay, I guess we're just going to get right into it then. Wow. They actually time you, and if you want to see the flashbacks or not. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back to that anyway, though. We're going to go ahead and freaking, um, what is it? Go ahead and get into our dive mode, which is, um, you know, a pretty small section for the gameplay. But every time you get into a new world, you're going to be forced to do these little dive missions and then collect prizes in order to get to the world. So, man, I really wish I could have chosen a little flashback thing, otherwise... It would have been so much easier to explain all this, but I'm going to have to... Dang it. All right, whatever. I'm not too mad. But what the heck? All right, basically press A to, um... What is it? Go, uh, forced right there. You can actually also press the A button continuously to attack each enemy if there are multiple ones. And then pressing Y will allow you to take a little barrier. Um, B will allow you to do a little aerial break. And then, basically kind of like avoiding the attack... And then, uh, what is it? Pressing X will allow you to use magic, so... Cool stuff, cool stuff. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and freaking get that right there. Almost at our maximum amount of prizes, so we should be done relatively soon. Give me that. Yo, my boy's sort of going in, what the heck? But as soon as we're done with that, this next cutscene, once we get to this new world, we don't even know what it is yet, we're gonna go ahead and freaking go on back to that flashback. Let's just use the magic, why not? I just felt as if it was necessary, but there we go. Finished up the dive mission. Got ourselves a B rank, since I, I'm pretty sure we got hit a few times, but... I mean, I was just distracted. I'm like, wait! What about the flashback? Alright, but anyway. Here we are in what seems to be Traverse Town. Let's go. Hey, Traverse Town looking fresh. What happened to Riku? Riku! Hello? Riku! Shut it. Huh? Talk about noise. Mmm! Ah. Mmm! <laughs> Why is this music so good? Bro, this music is so fresh. We got ourselves a little pop-up. Flow motion basics. Might as well do it now. I will now know for the future references. Do not skip out or not, do not miss out on each tutorial whenever they do come up. I didn't know they were timed. God, they could have at least let me choose the option. Alright, flow motion lets you set your environment to the fullest. Or use your environment. Use the circle pad and Y button to slide into a wall or pole, and you will enter flow motion, which is a very revolutionary thing in this game, in my opinion. While in flow, mo uh, flow motion, you can press B to jump or press Y to uh, gain a burst of speed. This makes getting around much easier. 
So, like, if you want to, like, go somewhere, but, you know, you don't want to take too much time in just running, so you could just use flow motion, which is pretty cool. Slide toward that lamppost to gain a burst of speed. Sounds good. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Go ahead and slide to the other pole, or maybe not. I could just freaking just do this and then do it to that. Let's land. Or not. Let's just keep doing that. Okay, so there we go. I think we're good now. Or not. Wait, what do I have to do? Okay. There we go. That should be good, though. That should be good, though. What else do I have to do? God dang it. Okay. Alright. Do that. There we go. That's what I had to do the entire time. There we go. Now we have a sort of little railing. You don't always have to slide into or go into flow mo motion. You can use some objects like hands and rails, or handrails, <laughs> um, and ropes just by landing on them. Jump onto the rail and kick into flow motion. Alright. And you can also use it for combat. Um, they're going to be explaining that later, but I'm probably going to skip it. So, Basically, you can have different attacks. You can have the buzzsaw attack, which is that right there, um, right after going into flow motion, just like that. Then you have the kick dive, and then finally, probably the best option out of them all, we have the little shock dive. So, uh, yeah, those are all the attacks for flow motion. Go ahead and jump onto that pool. Do that again. Let's go the other way. Hey, and now we are good there. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Not sure where to go? Go with the flow. And tutorial is complete. Not bad. Okay. So now I believe uh, we have to catch up with, uh, what is it, Shadow the Hedgehog over there. Um, the one who basically just like, You're not a player. Yo, I need my game partner. Like, shut up, Shadow. Like, honestly. But yes, that is Neku Sakuraba from The World Ends With You, a DS game that a lot of people like, but some people actually do not even recognize. Um, pretty fun game. It's a pretty fun RPG, but I never really actually got to play it myself. Um, guess I never really, you know, put myself to do it. But um, anyway, we're, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and go back to the mementos. We're going to go ahead and see our very first flashback. We got ourselves the Mark of Mastery exam, and this is really important, guys. Basically, Yen Sid is going to be explaining what our true goal in this entire game is, so I'll be quiet for this. Sora is too optimistic.
Nice. And that is why we are now in Traverse Town, because it is one of the sleeping worlds that we must free in order to, um, what is it, prove ourselves to be Keyblade Masters. Basically the entire goal of this game. But anyway, now that we have this little objection, go after the boy. Um, wait. <laughs> Did he even... Did he even introduce himself to us? Oh, wait, I shouldn't have spoiled his name like that, but if you guys have played The World Ends With You, you guys would probably recognize him already, but anyway, though, got ourselves save points. Glowing circles on the ground are save points. Touch the light to recover your HP, and of course, you can save your progress that way, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. We have ourselves my first file, which I have, oh my god, like so much amazing stuff in here. Um, just content-wise and just work-wise. Look at how many hours I put into this darn game. But anyway, we have ourselves my practice file that I used. Just, just so that way I knew how I would do this playthrough for the, at least for the first hour and a half, I guess. And we're gonna go ahead and overwrite this save data and replace it with our brand new playthrough file. Which is oh so nice. There we go. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video because I realize that we're actually at a pretty decent amount of time right now. And I figured the first episode, you know, first episode, first episode should at least be like maybe half an hour long. So I figured this would be kind of like the right time to stop it. And uh, next episode, we're gonna go ahead and travel through the world of Traverse Town and um, go after that boy, I guess, the one who introduced himself to us um, just out of nowhere, I guess. But anyway, if you all did enjoy and would love to see some more episodes very soon, like maybe me spamming some episodes tomorrow make sure to let me know by smashing that like button or commenting down below that would really mean a lot to me guys and i'm really excited to be doing this playthrough like i said before but um yeah guys i'll talk to you in the next video thank you all again for watching and i'll see you all next time peace marquezies stay awesome